you have to understand repeated sexual sins have demons behind them behind every farmer behind every tomato is a farmer tomatoes don't grow on their own somebody cultivates them behind every repeated sexual sin is a demon who cultivates it behind every Delilah is a Philistine hiding behind the couch waiting for you to be lured into sleep in fact it says in Judges chapter 16 afterwards it happened that Samson loved the woman in the valley if you're in a valley it's not a good time to fall in love it's a good time to get out of the valley and he fell in love in the valley that's why Joseph did not get married did not get married in prison he waited to get to the palace whose name was Delilah and the lords of the Philistines came up to Delilah and said to her entice him find out where his great strength lies and by which means we can overpower him that we may bind him to afflict him and every one of us will give you 1100 pieces of silver can I tell you something that lust is on the payroll of the devil pornography gets a very good compensation for trapping you sexual immorality fornication adultery is sponsored by the devil it's 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 a thing it's not just automatically it's not just your feelings there are philistines behind the couch while you're over there on the computer experiencing what you're experiencing there are demons hiding behind the couch who are paying that thing so that they can entice you trap you and hurt you because demons know if they don't do that to you you'll do that to them demons know you're the amnon you're the next in line for the kingdom demons know your future more than you know your future and they will use a delilah to entrap you they will use a sexual sin they will utilize they will, they will play with the flesh so that you can fall for it but today we've come to serve the devil and notice we're not going to fall for the Delilah. We're not going to fall for lust. Why? Because we know that we have a purpose. We know that we have a destiny. We will live in purity. Even though we struggle and get tempted, but God is on our side. And the spirit of him who raised Jesus lives inside of us. He is greater than any temptation. Do you mean that if I fall into the same sexual sin, I, I'm demon possessed? What we mean is that you probably are demonized. Demonized is being controlled in a particular area of your life by a demon. It doesn't mean that you're owned by a demon. It means controlled. How do you know if you're controlled by a demon? It's very simple. It's the area of your life you have control no over. Okay, let me word it better for English. <laughs> it made sense in my mind. When the person comes in and says, how do I know if I have a demon? Now, demons cannot have Christians. Holy Spirit has us. But Christians can have demons. It's not play your words. It's, you can be oppressed, but you're possessed by the Holy Spirit. You can have a demon. And how do you know where that demon is at? It's the area of your life demons control. Which area is that? It's the one you don't control. Have you, have you heard people say things like, you're out of control in this area. For example, somebody blows up in anger and the wife says, you're out of control. Or they say, I don't know what happens to me. I lose control. You didn't lose it. Somebody took it. The area you lose control over it is the area somebody else already has control. A demon. So stop blaming it on this and that, your personality. You have to understand, if you lose control in the area of lust, if you lose control in the area of anger, if you lose control and you go flying and you don't know what happens to you, now you know. You didn't lose it somebody else took over and it's a demon it doesn't mean that holy spirit doesn't live in you it doesn't mean that you're demon possessed it just simply means that a demon in that area ru runs your life and you can declare war you can overcome you can fight but see you can't fight if you don't know what you're fighting you gotta stop shadow boxing you gotta know that this thing is not from jesus this thing is not from me it's from the devil and i gotta cut that off i gotta fight that i gotta remove that and i gotta win a battle in the spiritual realm to win a battle in the realm of the physics somebody say amen when they asked eskimo tribes and on, on how they would catch wolves they said that you know to catch a wolf is not easy 
but they had this trick where they would put a knife and dip a knife in blood few times have the blood dry up dip the knife in blood again have the blood dry up and you know wolves when they smell blood they lose their rationality they can't think straight and they would put that knife and they would secure that knife in something strong and and tie it up and put it into the ground and they would leave and let the blood manipulate the nature of a wolf and the wolf would smell blood he doesn't even think he doesn't his eyes no longer see because his urges have taken over he would come and he would start licking the knife not realizing it's a knife and then by the time he realizes that it's a knife it's too late because now he's swallowing his own blood and then the wolf would die the devil will not come to you and I during the night with horns because you know what that will make you do father in the name of Jesus father God no, 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 no. Yeah. devil is afraid of that he won't do that he's not an idiot devil is not gonna come to you with a fork when you're walking down the alley with the fork because what's gonna make you do that you're gonna start praying you're gonna start rebuking devil doesn't want to do that he will never use something that will make you pray he will use things that will make you stray what are those things it's things that we don't expect we see blood we don't see a knife we see porn image we don't see a demon behind it we see sleeping with the girlfriend we don't see the what it's gonna lead to we see a flirtation in the office we don't see that there's Eskimo tribes there's demonic tribes that are behind that and today God wants to make you a possessor of your passion a possessor of your passion that you have spiritual eyes that you see my friends if you don't control your eyes Satan will take them the Bible says Samson he didn't control his eyes he saw he saw he saw he saw he saw too much and the devil took what he saw and then he went blind control your eyes or the devil will control them Job says I made a covenant with my eyes I'm not gonna lustfully look at the young virgin what does that mean that means that I make a conscious decision I possess my body my body doesn't possess me I possess every organ in my body those organs don't possess me and if there's something that I lose control over I know it's a demon so I seek spiritual help 